So we want to create a shell for a drone, something organic looking like this, and there's nothing better in Fusion 360 to you uh, than using the, uh, the form environment. So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that. I have, uh, I have a sketch here, fairly simple. So I want my camera facing, um, not this way, but actually I want it facing this way. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this so that, that the camera is either facing the horizontal or the vertical way. Um, and that makes it easier to later on uh, design the form in, in the form environment with symmetry. So then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, enter the form environment and uh, now I'm going to create a, uh, an extrusion. I pick my profile and I'll just pull this up. And you can see already there, there are not that many faces on there, there's just eight faces, so basically um, every, every many faces you see there. But I want, uh, I want about six segments here on, on this uh, half round surface well, quarter round surface and six uh, on the other. So make that 32. Okay, and that's exactly what I want. So let's take a look at the sketch again. Here's what this looks like. And uh, we have, uh, and I, I chose not five or three, but six, or you could choose four, choose four. Um, but I want a, uh, I want two faces on either side so I can later on work with uh, symmetry. Okay, so we can turn the sketch off. So now I have uh, my first extrusion. The uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to insert another edge here. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bridge those, um, cap those ends here, those two last And I'm not sure bridging is the best uh, is the best tool for this, but it works okay. So I want two faces. So uh, we have one face. We have this split here in the middle. So if I make two faces, I have a split here. Um, we can see that there is still an edge left. We're going to address that in a moment. So we're going to do that bridge another time here. And because the camera is facing towards this direction, I want to only cap one here. Okay, so we can see that there's still this ugly uh, edge left and that's because the two vertices here aren't merged. Uh, so we're gonna merge them or weld them in this case and you can just basically window select them. There are actually two vertices there. And I can maybe show this by picking one and pulling it down. But anyway, so weld vertices. So we have those welded. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this uh, ugly edge. Um, because this is already a rounded over edge, um, I want this a round edge too. It doesn't make any sense to later to leave this as a hard edge and then later on try to um, fillet this uh, with a solid modeling tool. So uh, that is very likely to fail. So I'm just going to select those edges. again and we increase those so later on um, I'm going to insert some edges here to get me a little bit uh, a smaller radius but uh, I don't like these um, hard creases there. So you can see that we're still adhering to our circular, uh, to our uh, fan radii here. Um, and by inserting another radius, uh, another edge here, one or two edges, I can make this edge a little sharper, but it'll still have a small radius on there. So this is uh, what I want. This is my top, the, uh, the camera again is going to face this way. 
So then the next thing I'm going to do is going to, first I'm going to hide the sketch. I highlight this and I'm going to simply hold the R key and extrude this out a little bit. So then the next thing I want to do, I actually want to make this into a circuit and uh, other softwares uh, you have, uh, you can basically click on a button and merge all this into a circle. Fusion 360 doesn't exactly have that, but uh, we can help ourselves by creating a construction plane. Then we're going to simply sketch a circle on that construction plane, maybe like this. I'm not going to give that a very precise dimension or even constrain it. Um, because once we match it, this is not parametric. The uh, where's the match? There it is. So we can match these edges to the circle, and that doesn't look so good because it pulls these vertices. So it's not symmetric anymore around these axes uh, around this axis. So. That's not so great. So what else could we do? I could try half circle. And then I'm going to just simply trim that sketch away. So I'm going to apply symmetry. And then I'm just going to select that edge and match it to the half circle. Okay, so that doesn't work. So then um, let me undo the symmetry and simply delete the lower half and just match the upper half. That works as expected. We hide that sketch. And then we're going to simply go ahead and use a different form of symmetry. That's a mirror duplicate. That's my mirror plane. And there we go. All right, so now we can go ahead and um, start editing this form. Key, the Alt key, I'll pull this out a little bit, rotate this around, scale it in a little bit, pull this out a little bit more. And there we are, uh, a little bit closer to our camera. Maybe I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. I'm going to take these complete faces here. Pull that up and turn around a little bit. 
So there is uh, there's our housing. So I said earlier I may want to go ahead and insert another edge here. Maybe minus point one. That was a little small. Looks better. And we do the same here. Or those two are inserted. All right. And now we could uh, finish the form and um, thicken it into whatever we feel like. And that might fail. No, it doesn't because I thickened it to the outside. But if I thicken that to the inside, it'll likely fail. Actually, it doesn't. Interesting. Okay, cool. Anyway, So here is um, how you would uh, create something like that shell with T-splines. Now let's take a look at the sketch. Are we still adhering to our circles? Yes, we do. So um, hopefully this uh, little screencast helps.